Hi guys, it's Florian and in this video I am going to talk about how to negotiate and bump your salary as an engineer in Germany. So stay tuned. The factors that uh, impact your salary in Germany are manifold. So uh, it depends on a lot of things. Uh, first thing it depends on is the location of the company. So where is the company? Is it in a big city uh, with high living costs? So Munich, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Hamburg, all of these cities uh, have really high costs of living, but uh, actually pay more if you uh, work there as an employee or if you work uh, in the suburbs of a city like this as an employee. Uh, you must be aware that if you work, uh, for example, in Eastern Germany, uh, you usually uh, get paid less, but also have less costs of living. The second factor is the company size. So how big is the company you apply to? Is it a 50 person company or is it a 5000 person company? That makes a huge difference when it comes to payment. Usually companies pay more when uh, they are larger because they make more money, they have more, uh, uh, more international customers and so on. So uh, it, it really makes a difference uh, which company size you apply to and which uh, company size you want to work in. The third thing that impacts your salary is of course your education. Do you have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree or even a PhD? That all distinguishes uh, your payment. Uh, it usually rises a bit uh, when you have a higher degree. Uh, the degree however doesn't matter so much uh, when you have some work experience. Uh, so uh, the importance of the degree uh, or the level of degree you have uh, declines by then. But that is also something you should consider. The fourth thing uh, that matters is your experience. So are you fresh out of university or do you have some working experience? Are you a, an engineer with 10 years of experience in a specific field or are you more a, a newbie who has uh, some stuff he learned from university but actually never worked somewhere that has uh, maybe the hugest or the most impact on your salary is uh, your experience level. The more experienced you are, the more you get paid. The fifth thing you need to uh, keep in mind when you apply to a job is actually what status the job has. Are you a junior, a senior or just a normal engineer? Uh, do you have a project or financial responsibilities uh, of a few million euros? Do you um, have a team that you're responsible for or are you just responsible for your own work? Uh, that is also a factor that uh, hugely impacts your payment. So altogether, your payment isn't defined actually by surveys of how much money people make in engineering, uh, in average, because there are so many things that impact your payment that you cannot rely on this results. Uh, it is usually just the average and uh, of course it is much too less for Munich but maybe too much for, for Leipzig or uh, other cities in Eastern Germany, but you don't know that. So the number of impa uh, impacting factors actually has a huge variability in, in the salary you can make with your education, with your experience, uh, so you shouldn't rely on that. So next thing I want to talk about is how to actually negotiate your salary. And there are things you need to know about the German labor market. Uh, one thing is that all the benefits like uh, healthcare, retirement benefits are usually included. We have full coverage healthcare, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, and all the other stuff is also included. You can check that uh, on, I guess, a lot of uh, web pages uh, where you can find information about how uh, the salary structure in Germany works. Um, you should also be aware of that there are unions sometimes uh, negotiating with companies the salary levels, uh, which is uh, a so-called Tarifvertrag. So you, um, you don't really negotiate your salary, you just get into one level of this Tarifvertrag and then you get paid accordingly. So there's not a lot of things to negotiate there. Um, you should check if the uh, company you apply for is in some kind of uh, Tarifvertrag. Then you can uh, already see how much you, you might make. Uh, if you are really good, they might also choose to not put you into this 
but uh, pay you more money, they can always do that. They cannot pay you less. Um, but if they really want to have you and they are afraid that this is not enough uh, that they can pay you, they will pay more. So you should check if there's already something guiding uh, what the company is going to pay. If you don't know that or if uh, there is no Tarifvertrag in the company you apply to, you actually will be asked uh, how much do you want to make. And uh, you can, uh, if you know that already, put it into your motivational letter that you send with your application. Uh, and you can say, for example, if you want to make 60,000 euros, you write in the motivation level letter, I would like to make 65,000 euros. Uh, and then you have some negotiation um, uh, uh, margin that you can uh, uh, leverage off uh, in this talk. If you don't write it down, they will ask you directly. And it's usually easier if you, if you communicated that before. Or myself, for example, it's easier. I usually write it in my motivational letter, so it's uh, easier to talk about that. And if it's too high for the company, they won't invite you anyways. And then it's much better than uh, if both sides know that from the start. If you are not sure how much money you can make, there are two things you can do. Uh, one thing is being really open about it. So saying, I come from India and I have no idea how much you can make here in this company, in this, uh, in this location, with my experience. I just want to get paid a fair amount of money. And usually the employer will understand that and they will pay you a fair amount of money. They won't trick you. That's not what they uh, usually do. Um, but what you can also do is, uh, if you want to spice that negotiation up a bit, you can use a technique called anchoring, so uh, which means actually saying a really high number, uh, which sometimes has nothing to do with the actual salary, but it uh, gives the person you negoti negotiate with uh, some kind of level in their head. Uh, you could, for example, say, I have got a friend or a cousin who is working in London as an investment banker and he made £120,000 right off university. But that doesn't, of course, apply to an engineer in Munich, so I have still no idea what I can make here. Uh, which actually has nothing to do with your job, but it anchors the guys who will decide your salary and it anchors them to a high number. So they might, uh, if they have a margin where you can or range where they can put you in, they might choose uh, the higher uh, border of this range and not the lower one. So uh, that is also a technique you can use. Other than that, um, you should uh, occasionally ask for a race that is uh, allowed and you uh, should be, depending on which company you are in, uh, really uh, open about that. So whenever you have a bonus talk or a yearly talk, you can always raise this question and uh, no one will be mad at you and you should have an idea what uh, what you did uh, the past year and uh, why you are so valuable to the company if you have uh, arguments for that they might raise your salary so that's the tips uh, i can give you if you want to negotiate or bump your salary in germany uh, if you have any questions post them in the comments uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot